What's up guys, this is vlog number 35. We are back at Rainbow Casino playing some 1-2. I buy in for £400 and that is all you need to know. Brilliant session, short one but lots of good hands. Enjoy. So I'm about half an hour into this session and I look down at pocket tens in the under the gun position. I open the action up to £7. I get a call immediately from the player on my left and then the low jack decides to put in a raise up to £25. It falls back around to me and I'm looking at the low jack stack and I think he's got about £100 in total including the bets he's put into the middle. So I decide that's low enough that I'm going to play for it all with pocket tens. I put in a raise up to £65 but the plus one player doesn't fold immediately. I was counting on her getting out of the pot. Bit worried that she's going to make a play here, but eventually she does decide to fold and it is back on the low jack, who after some deliberation does decide to go all in. I snap, make the call and we are heading to a board. He asks me what I've got. I tell him that I've got pocket tens and he tells me the bad news that he has pocket aces. We're in pretty bad shape here. Need to hit a 10 or potentially a straight or a flush somehow. Off to the flop, which is queen jack five. A little bit of potential here, maybe if a nine or a king comes out, we can make a straight here. None of those cards come out, it is the eight of spades on the turn, and the river is the deuce of spades. We are going to lose this one. Turns out he had a little bit more than £100, he had about £145, so we are going to lose a little bit more here. But I don't hate the play. Unfortunately, we ran into the worst hand possible here. Let's try and make some of that money back in this hand. I am on the bottom with king queen of clubs. See a few limps and then I raise it up to 15 pounds. The small blind flat calls my raise and all of the limpers decide to make the call as well. So we're heading many ways to a flop, 92 pounds already in the middle. But the flop is pretty darn good for me. It is ace, queen, seven with two clubs. We have middle pair with a nut flush draw to go alongside it. So when it checks to me, I'm ready to play for it all. I put in a decently sized bet of £55, but it seems that no one has anything this time. Everyone folds and we take down a decent sized pot considering it only went to the flop. I'm in the small blind now with ace three of hearts. There are a few limps and then the button decides to raise it up to £7. I think usually this is probably just a fold, but sometimes a re-raise is fine here as well. And that's what I decide to do this time. I put in a raise up to £30. It falls around to the second limper who decides to make the call and the button makes the call as well. So we are going three ways to a flop of king, king, five with two hearts. So once again, we have flopped the nut flush draw. It's a pretty good board for our hand. So I am going to put in a small continuation bet of £30. And once again, we are going to get the job done with this small bet. Both of our opponents fold and we take down a little pot. I'm in the cutoff for this one with pocket nines and the straddle is on for the first time tonight. We see three limpers, which is pretty standard at this point, And I decide to put in a raise up to £25. It falls around to the straddle who decides to make the call and then all three of the limpers make the call as well. So we have a pretty big pot brewing here. The flop comes down pretty good for me. It's king 9 10 giving us bottom set. It checks to me and although there are some straights out there, I am going to put in a bet for value. I place in a bet of £60 and only the straddle makes the call. Off to the turn, which is the seven of hearts. The straddle checks it over to me and I decide to check back. I'm not sure this is the right play. I was slightly worried that he might have a straight, but I shouldn't really be worried about that. It's very unlikely he has a straight and I can definitely get value from any king X a lot of the time. So I think a bet here is better, but I decide to check it back and we head to the river, which is the two of spades. The straddle now decides to lead out for a bet of 140 pounds. Now I need to make the decision here between raising and cooling. I don't know if I can get much more value if I raise. I don't know if I can get worse to cool. I'm not sure a king would cool a raise on the river. So eventually I do just decide to make the cool. He announces that he has two pair. I turn over my hand. Two pair is not going to be good enough. And we take down a pretty big pot. I'm not entirely sure I played this hand right. I think again I should have bet on the turn. And then hopefully bet even bigger on the river and got value when our opponent has two pair. 
But that's something to take in for next time. Happy that I took down a big pot and let's keep this session going in the right direction. On to the next hand and I'm in the hijack with ace king offsuit. See a limp from early position and then the under the gun plus two player decides to put in a raise up to 15 pounds. I am going to be re-raising obviously I make it 45 pounds to go and then it folds back to the under the gun plus two player who decides to make the cool. The flop comes down three, queen, ace, brilliant, we've hit top pair, top kicker. So when it checks to me, I'm going to put in a continuation bet of £35 and our opponent decides to make the call. The turn is the four of diamonds, he checks it over to me again, I still think we can get value from worse aces here and some draws. So I decide to put in another bet, this time £115 and once again our opponent makes the call. Big pot here and off to the river, which is the king of clubs. Absolutely brilliant. Obviously, Jack-10 gets there, but it's very, very unlikely that our opponent has Jack-10 and he called the turn. So I think we 100% have the best hand here, especially when he checks it over to us. He has £280 remaining in his stack, and I think that's the perfect size to go for it all. The pot's £395 already. This is about a two-thirds size pot. I put it in there and unfortunately before I can even get the chips in, our opponent folds. Happy to take down a big pot here and let's move on to the final hand of this session. It was only a small session today guys so we've only got a few hands for you and this is the final one where I'm in under the gun plus one position. The straddle is on once again and I have pocket nines. The under the gun player limps, I put in a raise up to £20. The cutoff makes the call, the straddle makes the call, and the under the gun limper makes the call as well. So we head four ways to a low flop of 254 rainbow. It checks to me, and I decide to go for some protection here. I place in a bet of 55 pounds. The cutoff folds, and it is on the straddle, who, after some deliberation, decides to go all in for 251 pounds. The limper folds and it's back on me and this is a really, really tough decision. The board definitely favours him a bit more than it does for me. He can definitely have two pairs and straights here where I'm pretty unlikely to have those. But I do know this player, I know he's competent and I know he knows that this board is better for him. And if I'm not calling here with an over pair, then there's not many cards that I am calling here with. So I think I have to make the call. He can definitely have lots of bluffs such as any 3x, 6-7... 5-6 sometimes as well can make a bluff here. Maybe even some ace -X can bluff here as well. So I think knowing this player is competent and can definitely have some bluffs here, I eventually do decide to make the call and we head off to a turn and a river, praying for no ace or no six. The turn is the seven of diamonds. That's okay, but the river unfortunately is the ace of hearts. That's not good. I'm worried that he has hit his straights. Fortunately though, he says that I am good, I turn over the pocket nines and I win a massive, massive pot to finish off this session. I think he might have had 6-7 in this situation. I don't know, he doesn't tell us, but I'm happy to take this one down. That's all for this one guys, like I said, very short session. Actually did end up playing for over an hour after this final hand, but didn't really get anything, was kind of card dead. So eventually I cashed out after playing for four hours and 43 minutes. I bought in for 550 pounds, cashed out for 1,090 pounds, which is a profit of 540 pounds and a net hourly rate of 114 pounds and 38 pence. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.